Hey there, thanks for watching this video. Uh, just to let you know that uh, in this video I'm experimenting with the counterbalancing uh, to fix a vibration I've got on my Wahoo Kicker uh, version 2. The method I'm using I'm really not happy with at all. Um, basically I'm adding a weight to the outside of the flywheel. Uh, flywheels tend to move around pretty fast and weights on the outsides have a habit of wanting to detach themselves. So I don't consider this method safe. Um, I'd like to suggest quite strongly that you don't try this, use this for information only. I am going to look for a more permanent solution. Um, so absolutely uh, this is purely for information, looking into the effect of counterbalancing the free wheel. This is a do not try this at home. Seriously. Thanks. Hi guys. This is my uh, Wahoo Kicker Revision 2 that I've been experiencing some low frequency vibrations uh, from the flywheel. So I'm guessing the flywheel is not that well balanced and I've dismantled it to see. I've contacted Wahoo support but they didn't really have anything to say on the issue. Uh, basically the symptom is once you hit sort of 20 miles an hour plus you begin to feel vibrations through the handlebars of the bike. Uh, you can hear and feel the floor vibrating too um, and it it seems to be that the it feels a bit like the flywheels off balance anyway, I've stripped the thing down and this is where we've got to so I've taken this cover off and uh, there's a couple of Phillips head screws there's a there's a uh, three hex head bolts it's quite straightforward I've actually undone this part as well but I didn't need to um, and then once you've got inside, well actually you don't need to get inside to do this, this releases the tension, of, 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 this is releases the lock on the belt tensioner here and then you've got this threaded bolt here which releases it. I mean the point is now the flywheel is free floating, uh, the flywheel I've noticed if you just let it spin will naturally sit and I've put a small mark here where the, uh, where it, where it sits. So if I just do a little spin I might need to fast forward the video, but you'll see. It's from me, the flywheel naturally wants to sit there. So clearly you've got this flywheel spinning around at very high speeds and yet it's off balance quite clearly. So I've been on, been on eBay and I've bought this. So this is some uh, lead tape. Um, it's self-adhesive. They sell it as like uh, golf club weights. Now, I really wanted to dismantle the thing and get inside it but it looks like you actually need to take the flywheel off to be able to, to ideally I would mount a weight inside the flywheel so that it, it can't go anywhere. Um, but it looks like to get to the inside I'd either have to cut a hole in this which I don't really want to do or I would have to dismantle this bearing and I really don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it to the outside and use a band of tape around the outside. So the next stage for me is I'm going to have a play with it and I'm going to put some weights on and see if we can't correct this thing. Back in a sec. Okay, well that took all of five seconds. Um, I've added a weight here. I would guess that's about four grams, five grams of lead tape. But it appears it doesn't really settle in any particular position. Let's do a bit. Oh, oh, it is returning, so it's slightly underweighted. Let's give it another go. just slightly returning. Actually I might have guessed right first go because I literally just cut this little tiny piece off and it seemed balanced or slightly overbalanced so I might need to split the difference with this piece here. Yes, I, do you know what? I, 
I would rather underweight it than overweight it. So um, let's, let's just slow it down this side. Yeah, I'm going to call it that. Let's call it that. Now, obviously, as it is, that is a health and safety nightmare because if I just if I spin that up, I don't know what RPMs that thing's doing, but it's a lot, and that's going to go flying off a razor sharp shard of lead. So we need to strap it down, and um, I th I think I'm going to use. We need some really strong tape, probably um, at the risk of ruining this lovely surface. I'm going to wring the whole thing in gaffer tape. So right now what I've done is I've added gaffer tape around the outside. Looks a bit of a mess so maybe if this really works I'll come back and do a tidier job. But this is an experiment at this stage. Slow this thing down and just check where it sits. There's my original mark. So if you recall, it finished always, always, always with the mark at the bottom, but now the friction of the bearing seems to determine where it sits. <clears throat> so on the face of it, looking at it from this point of view, it looks pretty good. We'll go with that. So I was just about to put the belt back on and I wanted to share with you a trick. Uh, I don't know if this will work yet, but we'll see. Um, I used to have a belt drive bike and adjusting belt tension was always the, the challenge to get rid of the noise. And I've seen a lot of stuff about the, uh, the noise of the belt on this thing. So I found something that actually works brilliantly. So here's the belt, standard sort of Gates belt. This stuff, dry lube. So what it does is you, you need to dismantle it, you take the belt off completely, you spray a coat of this on and then let it dry. And what that does is it just, it gives you like a sort of um, a reduced friction silicon based surface here. And it should eliminate a lot of the noise that you get with this thing. In my case, that wasn't the worst part of the noise. The worst part was this vibration that I hopefully fit with the balance of the thing. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Okay, welcome back. Now, this is interesting. Um, the belt tension. So I was putting in a bit of belt tension into the system and clearly the belt tension is very much directly affects the belt noise. Unlike my old Gates belt drive bike, which needed quite a lot of belt tension to be smooth, this seems to not. So if, you, if I spin this up a little bit by hand. Now if you recall the, um, the belt tensioner slackens off a lot just by loosening it. So what I'm going to do is tighten this up. You hear that pitch change. So what I'm going to do is make the belt a little bit slacker. Okay. Actually I took about half a turn off the adjustment on the side here and now when I tighten this up the noise doesn't seem to significantly increase. So let's spin this up and have a listen for vibration. Wow. Wow, that is transformed. A tiny, tiny vibration, but nothing really, nothing at all. Wow. Can hardly feel anything through the bike. Yeah. That's a massive improvement. Wow. Well, I hope you all get something out of this. Um, 
So if I were to do it again, what I would do is I would take this cover off. Let's uh, slow this thing down carefully. Right. Step one, what I would do is take this cover off. Which there's uh, so unfortunately, the first thing I haven't put it back on. First thing you need to do is remove the handle. Three hex head bolts. Step two, you would remove this hex head screw here and this hex head screw round here somewhere, here. That releases the top of this plastic cover. Then there's two hex heads here and one down here. So one, two, three, four, five screws. This panel comes off. That enables you to then completely remove the belt. And then once you've removed the belt, the, the free whale can free float and you can find the balancing point. Experiment with a little bit of counterweight. Put it all back together. Hey presto. And that is improved massively. I hope you've got something out of it. Cheers. to reiterate finally please don't try this and blame me if something happens like you get a piece of lead embedded in your leg because it could well fly off uh, I am seriously not happy with this I have added another layer of tape and I've ensured that the direction of the tape's travel uh, is such that it'll tighten with the with the air resistance as the flywheel goes around not not, not sure how much difference that's gonna make I am gonna do a more permanent solution maybe do a post on it later um, the weight really does need to be on the inside of that flywheel. Anyway, thanks.